Senior citizens in an Elmhurst neighborhood are frustrated because their AT&T landlines have been down for nearly three months. Yet the company is still sending out bills despite no service. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is fighting for answers from the phone company. Tried calling at your home phone. Joan Miller is getting letters in the mail. An old friend who tried to call on her birthday. You must have discontinued service. A doctor with important information about a refill of her meds. Informing that our office has made several attempts to reach you by phone without success. Her AT&T landline's been out for the past two and a half months. Even her daughter Rachel struggled to reach her at first. And the first thing you think of is what's wrong. What, you know, when you can't reach, especially someone who's out elderly. You know, oh, you, please. You, well, <laughs> you think of all different things that could have happened. <laughs> A few doors down, 99-year-old Mary Pastillo says her AT&T landline is also out. My life alert isn't working because if the phone is off, that's dead too. She's been relying on neighbors to help her make important calls. I get so anxious that a lot of times my cell phone goes out and I, I just, I, know, I go across the street and Rick and uh, Kathy help me. Those neighbors say they even reached out to AT&T on Mary's behalf, but they haven't gotten answers. It just doesn't seem like the companies really care as much about landline service. Teresa Murray is a consumer watchdog for the U.S. Public Interest Research Group. It is absolutely unconscionable that even a single home could be without phone service for two and a half months or over two months. I mean, really? Yet the company has not stopped sending out bills. AT&T credited Mary's account for her missed service, but Joan says they haven't credited her yet. I'm past the way saying fix it, please. And I'm just saying fix it. I'm tired of paying the money, not having the service. I think that's not fair. Her daughter recently bought her a cell phone, but she's still trying to figure out how to use it. And the family says service is spotty in the area. What seems like a minor inconvenience could really turn into a tragedy for any of the seniors in this area who all of a sudden can't call out for help. For now, she says no line. Joan will keep checking her mail. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Well, late this afternoon, progress. An email from that daughter you saw in the story thanking us because mom's phone is now working. She says she experienced more than two months of runaround and no service. Then we get involved and it's fixed the next day. No answer from AT&T on why that happened.